Welcome to Peloton Magazine. I'm Ben Edwards, and this feature is being brought to you by Le Mans Fitness and the Direct Drive Le Mans Revolution. You've probably seen our real weight features. We head over to a bike shop, pull bikes straight off the showroom floor, and weigh them, adding the weight of pedals, bottle cages, and one empty water bottle. We feel this is a much more relevant weight than knowing what a 54 centimeter naked version of your frame weighs, or what your wheels weigh without tubes, tires, or skewers. Cyclists must be the only athletes that obsess about what our equipment weighs in totally useless configurations. For this installment, we are taking bikes right out of the pages of Peloton Magazine, and first up, a bike from the very first issue of Peloton Magazine. The Specialized Roubaix SL3, our test version of the endurance bike, was equipped with Shimano Di2 and their Dura-Ace carbon tubeless. Specialized provides all the extras, post, bars, stem, and saddle. With its Zertz vibration dampening insert and long mile geometry, our 58 centimeter test bike weighs 16 pounds, six ounces, and costs $9,400. Next, from issue two, we grabbed the Trek Madone 6.9 SSL, perhaps the best Trek ever, and it has yet to win the tour. This was a mechanical Durace build with ultralight Bontrager triple X-Lite carbon clinchers and their triple X-Lite bar and stem. While the same size as the Roubaix we tested, this 58 centimeter weighed only 14 pounds, five ounces, and costs $8,710. Jumping ahead to issue four, our gorgeous tribute to Italian cycling, we look at the Bianchi Sempre, a new bike for 2011 that brings Bianchi's racing heritage to a new price point. Tight angles, Celeste paint, and a stiff platform are accompanied by components bearing the storied Reparto Corsa name and a 10-speed Campagnolo Veloce group. The 59-centimeter test bike costs only $3,149. Of course, there is a weight penalty. 19 pounds and five ounces. Our latest issue of Peloton, number seven, is an ode to the Swiss and the Basque. We looked at a bike designed to win the Vuelta, the all new Cannondale Super 6 Evo, another phenomenal example of an all around race bike. The ultralight frame is complemented by SRAM Red, Siri and the Keep wheels, and an alloy FSA cockpit. This is a very straightforward no frills build and costs a very reasonable $5,500. Here's the part that blew us away. Our giant 63 centimeter test bike weighed only 14 pounds, 11 ounces. Each of these bikes represents a different riding style and a different price point, but perhaps the most surprising result is the sub 15 pound Cannondale Super 6 Evo in a size 63 centimeter with that red FSA Mavic build, no tubulars or crazy light carbon cockpit, and the bike still breaks the 15 pound barrier for thousands less than most. It's also a heck of a bike. Check out issue seven of Peloton Magazine on newsstands now for the full review, as well as a look at the new Fuji Altamira and a detailed guide to going tubeless. And stay tuned to pelotonmagazine.com. Mr. H will be taking many of these bikes head to head down our benchmark descent very soon. I'm Ben Edwards. Thanks for watching pelotonmagazine.com. Mm -hmm.